What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back to the channel. I hope every single one of you is having an awesome day and thank you for clicking on this video because I am so hyped. Uh, actually, right off the bat, this video is sponsored by Good Pals Playing Cards, friend of the channel and longtime sponsor, helping us keep the lights on over here. And it's actually perfect because today we are gonna be talking about the newest Good Pals deck. And if you want information on how you can get your hands on one, well, make sure you stick around till later in the video. These are the third edition Chancers deck. This one is in a very, very unique, kind of vintage avocado green color with some beautiful orange accents. Color scheme wise, this is already my favorite deck of Chancers to date. And I really like the last two, but I mean, come on. Now I'm gonna talk more about the Kickstarter campaign later in this video, but for now, let's just take a look at the cards. So you get pretty much the same design as with the previous two editions of Chancers, but again, this one is in an updated color, which I love. I know you're probably thinking that I matched my shirt uh, to these cards for this review. And yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, also, I wanna mention this is just the prototype of the cards. The full version will not be available, of course, until after the Kickstarter funds. As far as the front of the tuck box goes, you just see that beautiful Chancers logo. Uh, this, of course, along with the previous editions of the Good Pals decks were designed by 47 Kills. And of course, great job as usual. I really cannot get enough of that color, oof. Uh, you know, one side of the deck says Chancers Playing Cards, and then the other side says Good Pals Playing Cards Company. For me, the big selling point is that this is almost the exact kind of green that is used on the original green Fontaines. And if you guys remember, we reviewed those on this channel a long time ago. It's one of my favorite colors for playing cards specifically. Big draw for me. Let's see what the cards look like. You know, I know I say this a lot, but NPC's prototype paper stock is getting extremely good. Now for the back design, it might look like it is the exact same as the original Chancers, but in a different color. And that is where you're wrong, my friends, because the most exciting feature about this deck is the brilliantly designed fully marked system. Now these cards are marked in such a way that it's very easy to read once you're familiar with the system that it almost becomes a reader back but it's not, so there's really no risk in having these cards inspected. We're gonna come back to the marking system, but for now, take a look at how intricate the back design of these cards are. It's got that Chancer's logo, the skeleton hand with the crown holding the cards. It's got the roulette tables, the horseshoes, poker chips. It's got basically anything that you would find in a gambling setting which of course is the theme of the deck, and it looks incredible. As far as the aces go, they all have a huge enlarged pip in the center to mark all of the aces, which I always prefer. I think it looks really good. But the power ace, of course, is the ace of spades. And let's take a look at that. Hands down, one of the coolest ace of spades designs I've ever seen. This is the same as the one on the Chancers. Uh, it looks really good. This is something that I would get like tattooed on my body. That's how much I love the Ace of Spades design. It's basically just two good pals playing cards, which is what it's really all about at the end of the day. It's the reason we do this stuff. Now, all of the cards are fully customized. So you can see that the pips and indices are all custom. However, they're standard enough to where you could be performing magic, you could be playing cards with these, and it's all gonna look pretty much the same. Where you might notice a little extra special care was taken is in the face cards. Now, the face cards on the Good Pals Halloween deck are probably in my top five custom face cards of all time, but these are extremely nice. Sometimes it's easy to just cop out and use the standard design, and a lot of times it's preferred that way by the designer, but in this case, it just worked out so well with these custom faces. I cannot get enough of these. Now on the Kickstarter campaign, you can get this version, which is the standard edition. It's gonna be printed by USPCC. It's gonna feel amazing, uh, but it also comes with two different gilded options. So if you're a collector and you're interested in the more rare and more flashy stuff, definitely check that out on the campaign as well. Now look, the design's good, the box is good, the aces are good, but let's talk about what we really are buying when we buy this deck, and that is the marking system. So like I said, these cards are fully marked, which is incredibly useful for performing magic, but also cheating at cards with your friends. 
Basically, in each corner of the deck, you'll find some additional design features that look like little dots or little stars. Now, the dots equal a numeric value of one. So one dot is an ace, two dots is a two. You'll also see stars. Stars are for when you've got four dots, it turns to a star, it's five. And then for the face cards, it's just simple math. So there will be two stars on each one, so that's automatically 10. And then if it's a jack, it'll be two stars plus a dot. If it's a queen, it'll be two stars plus two dots. And if it's a king, it'll be two stars, three dots. And then as for reading the suits, if you look just below the numeric value, there's a little roulette table and where the ball is on that table equals either a diamonds, hearts, spades, or clubs. Usually when a deck is marked, you riffle through it to see if you can find markings. And of course that happens on this deck, but what's really brilliant about that is that it almost just looks like it's a ball moving on a roulette table, which you can always say is part of the unique design of the cards and has nothing to do with cheating your friends out of money and getting kicked out of Tuesday night poker night. So now that we've seen a nice look at the cards, let's take a little bit of a look at the Kickstarter campaign and see what we're in for. Okay, so the gilded versions of this deck that I mentioned are available. Now they're in extremely limited quantities. And by that, I mean less than a hundred of each, but the seals are numbered and they're available. So if you want one, it's really important that you go grab it now. This Kickstarter means a lot to me. James and the folks over at Good Pals mean a lot to me. They've been a huge ally of this channel. They've kind of helped me keep going through a lot of this time and uh, it means a lot. So if you guys liked any of what you saw in this video, do me a favor, go support my friends over at Good Pals. They are actually my good pals and that means a hell of a lot. So yeah, go check out the campaign. Uh, be on the lookout. I might make a few more videos. Uh, I might do some short form stuff with the deck, some more B-roll, some sexier stuff. Anyway, go check out the campaign. It looks awesome. The cards look incredible, and I cannot stress enough how much I want this deck to fund. Thank you again to Good Pals for helping make this video possible, and thank you to you guys for watching it. And if you got this far, you might as well like, make sure you're subscribed if you're not, and hit that notification bell just in case I make a huge comeback because, well, you never know. All right, I love you guys. Peace.